Today we're going to look at Checking Out Me History by John Agard. John Agard was born in Guyana, a Caribbean country in South America. He moved to Britain in 1977. His poetry often examines cultures and identities and Checking Out Me History was published in 2007. Straight away, we get a little bit of an insight into Agard's frustration um, when we see the title Checking Out Me History. It's not standard English. And he sort of does it to prove a point. In this poem, the narrator is talking about his identity and how it links to his knowledge of history. He was taught about British history, but he wasn't taught about his Caribbean roots. He lists famous figures from history and questions why he doesn't know about people from other cultures who did great things. He mentions men and women from diverse backgrounds who should be celebrated and he, he gets quite passionate about that. And at the end he says he's going to create his own identity based on his heritage. If we look at interesting quotations, bandage me up. I, with my own history, blind me to my own identity. It's a deliberate attempt to hide his history. The image of the bandage is ironic because bandages should hide healing, but here they've caused him blindness. Blind me to my own identity. This metaphor for not allowing him to see his own history, again sensing his frustration. Dem tell me about 1066 and all dat. This is the all dat dismissing British history and he assumes that the reader knows it. He then goes on um, to use pantomime as, as an example and he makes British history here seem trivial. Dick Whittington and he cat. Okay, again sensing his frustration that he's having to learn this sort of... Um, He's having to have this education when he wants to be learning about other things to do with his own culture and identity. He carries on, again, making reference to a nursery rhyme, De Cow Who Jumped Over de Moon. The nursery rhymes um, is an example of British history and it makes it, seem, makes it seem trivial but also links it to the tradition of reciting poems out loud. He then goes on to talk about um, Nanny de Maroon, who was the leader of the Maroons, a runaway slave. She led the Jamaican resistance against the British. So a real powerful um, character, a really powerful woman in the Caribbean history. Um, he makes Nanny Seafar Woman of Mountain Dream. So he's connecting Nanny to nature and water. She seems like a spiritual person. She was also associated with hope and liberty. We have got um, the firewoman. Again, the metaphor suggests that she's passionate and it's linked to warmth and light. And again, we've got the reference um, to nature with Freedom River. Continuing, continuing through the poem, again he makes reference to old King Cole um, and he links it to Mary Seacole. Um, the old King Cole is another figure, figure from British folklore and nursery rhymes and he's contrasting that with Mary Seacole, an important real life figure. Mary Seacole was a Jamaican nurse who helped the sick in the Crimean War. He then goes on to talk a little bit about her. Um, Wendy British said no. This suggests that she was defiant and brave and stood up for what, that she, what she believed in. He calls her a healing star. This metaphor links her to the wider universe. Images suggest light, hope and warmth. He finishes it off with I carving out my own identity. It's quite emphatic having that final word and it sums up the main theme of the poem. He's going to use his own history to create his own identity. He's not going to be dictated to. If we look at, if we look at the structure of it, 
the narrator uses a mixture of stanza forms, suggesting he's breaking the confining language rules he's been taught. He's sort of being a little bit rebellious. The Caribbean history stanzas have shorter lines and more broken syntax than the British history stanzas. This emphasises them and makes them seem more serious. The rhyme schemes are also different. The British stanzas have lots of simple rhymes, making them sound childish. Um, again, an, an attempt to ridicule um, the British history and emphasise the importance of the Caribbean history. The feelings and attitudes in the poem is quite angry. And the narrator's angry because the education system didn't teach him about his culture. He was unaware of his heritage, even though it's an important part of who he is. He's also full of admiration. He respects the Caribbean figures he describes in the poem. He admires their achievements and wants to tell their stories to show the important role they played in history. And also celebration. At the end he says he will embrace his own identity in a positive way.